Hey everyone, I'm Mark, Chief Sustainability Officer and co-founder of Unravel Carbon, and I'm here to show you a little bit of the Unravel Carbon platform in a pretty quick video and video walkthrough. Now, our platform itself, we're a carbon management platform, so we do everything along the greenhouse gas emissions management value chain, so calculating and estimating emissions all the way through to helping with disclosures and decarbonisation efforts, etc. So how do we achieve this and what do we do when we, when we onboard people to our platform? So I'm going to go through those just in a few quick and easy steps. First things first, we set up a company within the platform, right? So we've got, you know, this ability to go in and we get a few details about what the company is, your company operations, and then we build a company structure. So we can see relatively simply, you know, some questions around industry and industry subsectors, value chain areas, etc. All of this then culminating into what is a company structure. Now here, we're really flexible. We can actually accept any configuration of sort of regions and business units and countries, whatever, as long as it all comes down to facilities at the end of the day. And these facilities are the things that um, make emissions happen, right? And this is where we assign emissions in the context of our, our emissions inventory. All of our uploads, data export, all of the functionality is tied to these facilities themselves. Now, what we do after that is we go through a materiality assessment. So going through, we look at each one of these different facilities and we consider the emissions that are associated with each one of these facilities. This is done by our expert climate team. And then we're identifying what are the material emission sources that are applicable to your company, to each individual facility. And you can see here, you know, we've got fuel combustion, which is important, applies to 13 facilities, industrial processes for seven facilities, etc. So we go through that and this then informs what we call the upload plan, how we get data into the system. So once the materiality assessment is done, now you can start dividing and conquering your work. So we've got user management capability in here so you can add users and then set them up as data owners and set them up as approvers, etc. And anything to match your own business processes. Now the upload plan itself, this is where we're getting information into the system, right? So data of uploads themselves can be pretty overwhelming at first, which is why this whole area exists. It's a task management system, lets you know and lets your data owners know really clearly sort of what's in there, what's missing, who's responsible for what, and as I said, mention, um, having approvals and uh, business processes in there as well. So multiple ways to get information into the system, including integrations or using CSV file uploads um, also. So you can see here the different tasks that we've got um, available. And then if I go into an individual task, I can see, you know, who's the data owner, who's the assigner, etc. But I can go here to, to add data to the system, which will then take us to our data upload facility. Here, I've got the ability to select, in this case, a CSV file, if we've got an integration, then your data will come in automatically. Um, but I'll take the fuel CSV file in this case, which was the task that this is attached to, uh, and then I'll go through and just import this information. We've got error identification at this point in time. So if your business facilities are not quite right, or if our fuel types are not quite right, or if we're using the wrong units of measurement, they'll all get highlighted as errors. Or we've got warnings where, in this case, where, you know, some information has been used before, so data already exists, just confirming that that's the information you want to update. Now that you've imported your data into the system, here's the really exciting part. So after data has been uploaded, all of the information gets analysed line by line, each individual line item within all of the data that you uploaded, the dashboard then pops out. So this is where we're able to see all of your input data get transformed into emissions data. So here we can see just high level overview. Here's my total emissions, my breakdown via scope one, two, and three emissions, my top contributing categories, etc. We've got pretty flexible functionality here within the actual dashboard itself. So if I wanted to see my month-on-month my -month emissions via different emission scopes, then I can select that. If I want to add intensity line over the top, I can do that. If I want to see what my emissions were previous year for comparative purposes, then all very flexible ways in which we can manage this. Now, as well, we can start to drill down into the information and figure out why our emissions are the way they are. So if I go into emission scope and then look at this more detailed information about scope one, two, and three emissions, and then if I was inch and 
we have insights here as well that are automatically generated by the system. Then if I drill into, say, fuel combustion, then I can go in and see what's actually making this tick, right? So what's my breakdown via fuel type? If I want to see the individual facilities contributing, then I can do that. Um, and then once again, I can see how emissions are changing over time. This similar functionality with charts exists across all of the different types of emission sources we have within the system. So then after you've got this information available, after you've populated a dashboard, it doesn't stop there. There's actually a load of stuff that we can still do within the platform. So we've got the ability to see how you're performing against peers, right? That's combined with a little bit of effort from our sustainability team as well, but then benchmarking your performance against, against others. Uh, we can also, you know, compare between different areas of your own business, right? So compare between one time period and another, or one part of the business and another part of the business. Um, we're also very transparent in how we present information. So we've got full traceability on the emissions factors we're using. We're actually able to export that information directly from the system, as well as provide insights into the different sorts of sources we're using for data as well. Um, and then if we want to take things a step further, this is when we can start using our platform to then engage with your supply chain, get information from, from your suppliers, send out surveys around emissions data as well to really increase the accuracy and granularity of your own system. Um, Export data, all data is exportable from the system. It'll come out as a CSV file if you want to take that into any of your own systems and do additional analysis as well. In terms of other things you can do, they depend a little bit on what your overall goals are. So if you're very focused on using this information for decarbonization, we have our climate program, which is where we identify areas and decarbonization levers. So things you can do to reduce your emissions and then provide costs and impact of those things, and then plot that on what your future emissions could look like if you do these. We also have the ability to help you with disclosures directly on our, from our system. So we can take this information and put this into ISSB reports and um, climate risk analysis. So it's a guided question workflow to make sure that all of the aspects of what you require to, to disclose to the market can be covered and covered well with help from our platform, as well as your own internal expert team um, or consultant of choice. And then finally, if you're in the finance and investments area, we've got what's called the portfolio module and this ability to calculate finance emissions where we've set up parent-child relationships between different companies and we can acquire this information and then pull that up to a top level for reporting of overall emissions impact. So thanks everyone for watching this really quick walkthrough of our platform. Of course, if you have any questions or if you want to know any further information, please feel free to contact us at any time.